Professor here, uh, showing off a deck, one of my favorites, the Hitmon Chan, the Hit and Run deck, the Hitmon Run, with the newer ones we got from the previous set, Hitmon Chan, the new Hitmon Lee. I love the artwork on these two, but I, like it's just works so well how they're just training on the mountains and the clouds and everything. Beautiful artwork, it's just really cool, really fun, and uh, I th I actually like their attacks. I wanted to try full fledged, but then. The hit and run version of my channel is still like the key to annoyance and, well, hitting and running. <laughs> but I still want to utilize them and get some moments there. You got Gumi there to switch out, forcing people to do extra cost to attack. You got the Polka Dolls for the, again, the annoyance where they get nothing. So that's why those two are great for the hit and run ability. Such a good card. <laughs> and again, love these cards. And it's pretty cool when you actually pull off the special combo and the finishing combo. It's still pretty neat. Doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's pretty neat. I don't know if any of the ones I have recorded here have that, but I've done it recently and I felt pretty happy doing it. Dancy, you need Dancy. Buzzwall, hit or miss with Buzzwall any, nowadays anymore. I don't know. But he's just there just in case, I guess. Mew, hi, how you doing? So that way they can't hit your bench <laughs> while you hit them and stuff. Uh, Fione, again, just good. Four stuff out. Basically what she's there for, just like Great Catcher. Four stuff out. Ditto. Come on, you want to fight? See, he's perfect for a fighting deck. You want to fight? Just for, basically, Aerodactyl GX, which, that Wild Dive GX, no one sees coming, and it's a finisher, basically. Because you can do all this stuff there, and it's like, all I need to do is this. Boom. You win, and basically, most of the games I play... 9 out of 10, he's the one that wins it. Cute little Vulpix. Little Ninetales, just in case. Just, you know, for stalling, whatever. And it works from time to time, unless people can see through it. And I do love those new Hitmon Chan Hitmon leaves. They can be pretty powerful. <laughs> especially if you somehow get enough time to put the energy, especially on that Hitmon Lee, to be like, I can do 160 damage. That can add up. And then here's all the usual stuff, you know. Martial Arts Dojo, still pretty powerful. Stadium. Draw support, we got the beautiful Cynthia. The beautiful Marnie. Again, this is an annoying, disruptive deck. The elderly, beautiful Magnolia. The adorably beautiful Rosa. <laughs> again, great supporter cards. Cardi Belt, one of them just in case. It can come in handy again. U turn board, it, hit and run, move, move. Everyone's got to keep switching. Vitality band just for the extra bit of damage, and of course, all oh, that good fighting energy. Shiny. So, this is a deck that's always been a favorite of mine. <laughs> I've loved it since it first came out. Uh, Adventure bag there, you to get those tools. And it's just, it's a great, fun deck, and it's still pretty powerful, I'd say. It can still be very annoying and pack a punch. Ah, let's get into uh, let's get into some battles here, okay? <laughs> All right, look at that cute little Mew with that wonky head. It's like he's looking in on the on your door, and he's looking through a little peephole there, and he's like wonky. My turn, yay. Ooh, not the best to have started out there, but we got the cute little Vulpix, so that's fine. The Lone Vulpix is still, like, my favorite, but and uh, the Ninetales version. Still my favorite little form. Ooh, Sneasel. So, Sneasel can do that. Well, if I don't attach any energy, and uh, that Sneasel going second thing won't be able to do anything. Ha! <laughs> There's really nothing to do, so I'm, that's it. <laughs> At least they can't do anything with the Sneasel with that sneaky, sneaky smash. Ooh, pretty dark, pretty color. Dun, 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 dun. 
We Vile GX. Good card. When I first saw that card, I was like, ah, that's the GX We Vile gets? I don't know. But then it's like, oh, that... <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's like, you wish the attacks kind of did something more. But he's not meant for the attacks. He's just meant for the ability. But it still kind of sucks. Like, it's good, but you just wish... You could give it that ability that needs to go in the deck, but then still maybe give it some kind of an attack. Just in case you're forced to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can move all this stuff to him to attack, but do you wanna? <laughs> uh, see, uh, good thing I was saying the Muppet kind of theme there, because I still think he looks not, not that cute little cutie right there, or that cute little Fiona right there. Good art, I love the artwork on that, just the coloring. And let's look at some more of these cute wifels. But the little bird guy there, he kind of has a Muppet face. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I guess I'll put it there. Just Let's shrink their hand down and give ourselves a Pokemon to play with. Yay, just what we needed. Wow, 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 wow. And now they're forced to do that. Ha! <laughs> Don't switch just yet! Just in case. Just in time! I mean, I don't need to use them to use the switch, I just realized that. Ha! Ah, hit and run! Boom! Knock out that. No weave all for you. Yeah, no, it sucks. No weave all for you right now. <laughs> and thankfully we got <laughs> draw support. Because this hit and run isn't going to be doing much hitting and running if I can stall. Crabrat. Crabrat. Pretty cool Pokemon. It's actually a pretty decent card. Surprisingly. Why couldn't he get a V-Max? It's just like somehow. I love the Dark Deck. I got another updated one. Coming. But probably by the time that comes out, we'll have the new set, so I'll probably have to update it again with probably the new supporter we had to throw in, right? Am I right? But I do love the Dark Deck. It was pretty fun. Then tweaked it up a little bit, and it's still just as fun. It's pretty much the same thing, just with a few new additions. And then a few new, more additions. Because of Giovanni, basically, when that hits. So obviously... Hell, probably when this one's uploaded, you know, this one and the one coming up after this will probably be, if already recorded, but they'll be uploaded by the time the new set's out, so people be like, why aren't you playing this? It's like, well, because <laughs> I haven't recorded anything of the new stuff yet, and I don't plan to. You're going to do Kramer up again? Not only, you know, hopefully I'll draw another uh, Marnie to strep that one too. Ah, sausages. Why not get a new one on there? Yeah. Go, Magnolia, go. Go, Magnolia, go, Magnolia, go. Go, go, go. Kind of works. Kind of works. Might as well. If someone goes down, I got a cute little Rosa to help us out here. Boom. Oh, he's resisted. It's good to know. But I got my boy, Aerodactyl GX, I love. Rome, Rome, I love Aerodactyl GX. That, for one, stupid energy. And then, upon realization, too, again, I don't know what she's saying. It's like another deck I really enjoyed and liked. I'm like, wait, that guy has free retreat? Duh? <laughs> And I'm looking at this like, oh, uh, the deck that I'll be coming after this. When you see at the end of these videos, I do a who's that Pokemon thing, if anyone's watched or noticed. I, I think they're kind of neat, but it's a what deck is next, who's next type of thing. So you can guess to see what deck is coming next. And there's a card in there that has a free retreat, and I was like, oh, cool. But Aerodactyl free retreat, that one energy, I just like how, uh, this, uh, how it works with this ability. Forcing your opponent to put an extra energy on. So that's an extra 50 damage. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Do their attack, and they're like, nah, boom. But he's just someone you spring up last minute, finish someone off when they, because they'll have like about four, you know, four energy at least on them, and then they're, and then you're like, cool. 
do 200, got, you know, maybe the dojo, DMC, you name it, and then just kind of finishing off. And then since we're going against a dark deck, of course we have the upper hand, but either way, this is pretty sweet, and yeah. They're going to attack. With the big boy, Umbreon and Darkrai, GX. Durr? I guess just so they have something to attack with. Because I was just sitting there thinking, you, you, you didn't do anything. But this right here, because all I gotta do is Rosa. No. Oh. Do extra damage, take that, and, you know, get a nice fight energy. Because he's weak. Might as well just do it, like, right now. And I'll be doing 300. Might as well just get rid of it. Uh, let's just go for that extra bit of damage. <laughs> Why not? And... I mean... We'll be doing 300. Do I need, I don't need to put the Vitality Band on. Boom. So there we go. There's their big hitter. Um... Awkward... Um, good luck with the rest of it. <laughs> uh, it's still, it, it still kind of sucks. But that's the, that right there. I loves, loves Aerodactyl GX. He is, I don't know, I feel like I just throw him like every fighting deck I do is just the tech. <laughs> just because. Because I, what, I think, what other fighting decks? I mean, yeah, he just feels like he's good. He should, feels like he should be good in a tech. If there's any way you have fire energy, or just, like, maybe a deck that utilizes that one that has, like, the three energy, special energy thing with the fighting energy and the whatever, too, it will count as fire. I mean, it will count as fighting. Or maybe if you wanted with the rainbow energy or the new rainbow aurora energy. As a weird tech, just be like, meh. You put six energy on your Pokemon, eh? Neat. <laughs> GX. Single prize deck. I have in the deck. And it's because of that purpose alone. And that's pretty cool. You know, now he's like, oh, well, I can't take, but I can retreat for free. Hmm, yes. I mean, what else is there to do but just do a little bit, I guess? 120, and then my next turn, he'll be knocked out. So. No, doesn't really matter. He can't really do anything. So that's what I love about it. One prize attack, but then he's there, so you don't really have a GX attack to use. So he, you know, it just all works out. And if I need to, like right there, boom. Aerodactyl can be another attacker as I'm, looks like I'm choosing right now. I mean, the hit my chance right there, like, hey, hit on me, buddy. But really, there's no need for you. So we're going to sacrifice our cute little Lolan Vulpix. But really, eh, they, I don't see them winning just because he's going to go down and any other of those Pokemon will just get wiped out by Aerodactyl or they're all weak, you know, so it doesn't really matter. So, yay, that's good for the first deck. Pretty much got this. There's Aerodactyl. Thank you, buddy. UD MVP. Yeah, victory. UD MVP. We know it. Want to show off our little buddy right there? Boom! Yeah, that was a great time. Knocking out that 
That was the best. All right, and flip this around, I guess. See what happens here. <laughs> Start things off. On to the next one. On to the next one. On to the next one. Deedle 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 on to the next one. Ooh, Fiona. Starting off as the starter. That's not very good. And to retreat, I get to get rid of a precious, precious fire energy. Yeah, we're going to speed this up because this is taking forever for this guy to start. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> So we're going after more Peko, eh? More Peko V, V Max. All right. Again, we should have the advantage. But he's also a, a hit and run deck. But does he have the cool name? Hitmon Run. Hitmon Chan? Hit and Run? Hitmon Run. Nah. Does he have that? No, he doesn't. He's adorable, though. He's a fat little adorable thing, but we're going to. Beat the hell out of him. I apologize if it sounds too violent, but that's, you know, we, we're going to beat the crap out of him. Sorry. <laughs> this cute little electric rodent. It's a shame. He's going to get But he's got a hit and run thing there, so we got hit and run strategies. Only I have the advantage because they got the weakness. Whoop, whoop. And let's whirlpool suction. So they can't get anything off Jirachi right now. Unless they're forced to do other things. So we aren't going to let them get a chance to do Jirachi right now. No! <laughs> no! Oh yeah, it's... We got a Pokemon to attack with. So again, we have the upper hand. It doesn't look like it. But looking at this, it doesn't look like it. Sadly. But hey, we can stall for... <laughs> <laughs> we got draw support. We just need a monster. Oh my goodness, he couldn't even get rid of my doll. Well, we have even more... Uh, another turn. Because <laughs> the doll is a two-hit doll. Wow. I mean, let's... No. Yeah, let's put that Gumi down, but let's get rid of... Yeah, let's just discard him. And let's get someone who can fight. Just seeing who we all got. <laughs> and if I recall, he can do bench damage. Thankfully, we have that Mew. For now. <laughs> He's a happy, cute little guy. But it took him two shotting. Two shotting. Our Poke Doll. Kind of sucks. Really kind of sucks. Feel sorry for him. <sighs> maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, we don't need you right now either. How you doing, buddy? We may need you. Maybe we'll pull him off. See what happens. Go with him on Lee. See if we can pull it off. Because we'll definitely be doing the hit and run. But then we can do 90. 
to a bench. Get rid of that Jirachi back there. Do 90 to the other Morpeka. That evil. Evil. There, now he's got to... <laughs> have fun, buddy. Yamina, 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 no! Oh, well. Oh, they're sad. Oh, I'm sad, too. You put a mew down. Well, there's no EX or GX is right there, so. Not a Pokemon in sight. <sighs> yeah, there's just no point right now. But still, boom. Poor little guy. I love you, Gumi. <laughs> You're a dang good card. Dang good Pokemon, I tells you. Hey! Uh, you're useless now, my little cute little Vulpix, because, uh, threw your evolution away. But that's fine. Why, thank you. Mm -mm. Hey, at least I gotta draw support. Rosa! Uh, I think what I'm thinking. Rosa, 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 Rosa. Uh, I don't know. I'm just doing something. Rosa, 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 Rosa. No, oh, no, the V Max. Well, he finally, finally make his appearance. Well, he. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh oh, the big guy's in town. Is he hangry though? Is he hangry? That is the stupidest word, by the way. Which puts me just, I can't like the guy just because I had hangry part. But he's still lovable and adorable. But he, is he hangry? Are they going to make a hangry version of him or no? They need to make the hangry mode of that little guy. I think it'd be cool. Trella, Lala, Trella, Lala, shuffle him back. Trella, Lala, Trella, Lala. Uh, almost world. Hmm. So, can't do anything. So we both sit here. And we wait. We play the waiting game. Mwah! That just may be enough to put on, um, my little friends here. Do a little bit more damage. Or maybe get Aerodactyl GX. Yep, they know. <laughs> hey, I'm stalling. They can't do anything either, so. It's kind of, it's kind of nice to do that. No, I'm saying. Might as well just pass and let him get rid of my little Goomy. But Goomy did his job. Might as well just to do something. Hey there, Hitmonchan. Didn't really get to show off the other Hitmonchan, Hitmonlees. And this, but playtesting and playing around, having fun with it. They've actually been pretty beneficial. <laughs> I mean, I've even... When stuff like this, when you saw, you can get three energy on that other Hitmonlee. And you can freaking, you know, do 160, 180 with DNC, 190 with the Vitality Band. And then if you're behind, you can get rid of... You can get rid of that dumb dog with a sword in his mouth. So when it came up to stuff like that, I'm like... Oh, I got enough to do this. Boom. <laughs> and they're like, no! And I'm like, yes. 
So after all this back and forth, just stalling, waiting and waiting and waiting, he had to put an extra energy on that big little guy. Huh. Oh, you gotta love it. So, yeah, now I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling the hit and run right now. But they're gonna be feeling the hit and run because they're just... It's inevitable, buddy. That big little guy is gonna go down by my fighting Pokemon. There's just nothing you can do about it. Just how it is. I'm sorry. Yeah, Fiona. Hold the Fiona. Whoa, 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 nay. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do? Really big show. All useless cards. So that Fiona didn't work out because I was hoping. Could have, no, then they just swap out to the other one. So, oh well. But next time, you're going to have to put someone out you don't want. Nah! Kill him. <laughs> He's useless right now. I mean, he's beneficial to the other Hitmon Lee. Hey, look, like they're fist bumping each other. The two Hitmon Chan next to each other. Bruh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Still love the deck. Hitmon Run. Pretty fun. That rhymed. And, uh, it's just inevitable. We're just waiting. Just wait. Hey. It's cute artwork for that little guy right there, though. I'll give him that. Almost like a two-faced version of Winnie the Pooh. I don't know. Alright, they should have two custom catchers. Who are they gonna choose? Oh, they wanna do the spread damage. Does this do spread damage, though, or is it the other version? They seem very sad. And now, yep, that's what we've been waiting for. The big uh, kahuna. A big boy here. <laughs> A big boy. Yeah, it's sad. That's why I had to give him the heart. Because, like, come on, you, you, it's coming. Grr, I love a little grrr. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I love the reaction. Thanks for that. Oh, on the left, yeah, the big guy's gone. I love this deck. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> yeah, UD MVP. That was a good match. That was fun. What's next? This has been Professor. <laughs>